Hi everyone, welcome to the episode of Full On Ecom with Sachin. My name is Sachin Mishra and I'm the founder of Full On, ClickUp and Curve, all the suites of marketing tools which you need to scale your e-commerce brand. So today I'm going to talk about how you can create your own success game plan, how you can achieve the milestones, the goals you would like to have for your business or even for your personal uh, achievements so there are certain components here I'm gonna talk about the four core components and I've seen many times where uh, the business has created the strategy there's an action plan but something is missing where they're not able to achieve those targets so what are those things which these individuals are missing I'm gonna talk about that so the first thing is within this game success plan is G which is your goal now goal has to be very very specific it's just, it has to be a smart goal and uh, the other part of that goal is you should see where you're gonna head up how it's gonna look like how you're gonna feel about it and uh, where it's gonna lead your business to or uh, your brand yeah so that's that's the core thing is if I talk about a very specific thing it has to be very time bound yeah and the second part is you can measure it as well yeah so it, it's very important that your goal is very very precise it cannot be very random very vague that i want to achieve i want to double my sales now double my sales is very vague um, uh, from my perspective because you need to know how you will double your sales so i want to double my sales by uh, for these products so my revenue from the products which i'm selling let's say you're a e-commerce brand owners and you're selling a couple of products so i'm going to increase the sales for these products by x amount or by this date yeah so this is very very specific goal or increase the revenue of my business from let's say fifty thousand dollars a month to hundred thousand dollars a month in the next six months it's very very specific at this moment don't think about how you're going to do that that will be the next stage but the important is make it very very specific and i would say just to start with just one specific goal uh, do not create uh, tens of different types of goals just just stick on to the one and see how you are implementing that so that's very important that you have a right goal where you can feel it you can see it and very time bound very specific uh, and you can measure it as well now the second part as i mentioned is 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 the action what actions you would like to take yeah so it's very important that when you're talking about the actions action is not where these are your wishes okay you desire to do something like this it has to be aligned to your goals let's say for your example as i said earlier is your goal is to achieve from fifty thousand dollars to hundred thousand dollars in the next six months now how you will do that you know you are at this stage where your revenues are fifty thousand dollars what you will do in those periods where you can increase those sales it could be you can say i'm gonna launch two more additional products that's gonna give me ten thousand uh, dollars per month of revenue so that becomes uh, twenty thousand dollars and this is how i will do that so i'm gonna launch the product in the first month and on the first month uh, the sales will be like this and on the second month and third month so this is your plan you don't know whether you're gonna be able to deliver on that but having those action plan is very very important to start with so there's something where you can go and do those activities right uh, so that's the the very important part here and and the other part of the action is you think about um, every time you have the goals there could not be just one action there, you, may, you may have to do sort of multiple actions it could be your business processes your marketing strategies it could be a launches or it could be within your operational efficiency of hiring someone and managing that what are the costs involved so this is where you're going to spend a lot of time see what actions would be feasible as well um, having the actions which is uh, very very uh, having the actions where it is just like a wish or a, a big massive actions which you are not able to do that i would say avoid those sort of situations the important is that those actions is aligned to what your team yourself or anyone you're hiring can actually implement that that's the core part of it so that's the action and the, and the third part is the measure how you will measure that the important is the measurement should be very very simple 
it should be easy to calculate you can have numbers you should have you can measure it you know you can you can actually put it on the papers this is how it's going to look like this is how you're going to measure your goals where you are and also you will also see what actions you have taken can you measure that so at each period of time you have to measure those um quantifiable values it could be the revenues i mean your goal is revenues but you will measure based on the number of products maybe number of reviews you will get number of customers you have got uh, whether your email list has been increased or not because there are factors that uh, define the success of your goal it is based on certain input criteria so it's important that you identify those and start measuring it now my point is measuring should be very simple if it is complicated you will not be doing that so find those numbers find those parameters which you can measure easily or anyone in your team can measure easily and see that yeah and have those numbers for each period so you can see where exactly you are going on on period to period basis right and the fourth component which is very very important component and most of the time people miss that is enhance now you have created uh, the whole action plan you know how to measure it you have got very specific goals and you are implementing that but there are times where you have created those action plan and the measurement criteria but you feel like it can be enhanced because now you have got other information when you are doing those actions okay this strategy may not work so we have to refine that you don't need to change the goal post here you just have to see where you are heading and then enhance it better than that and i think many times uh, the goal you have got you are you should be able to achieve let's say a much before so the point is how you can enhance how you can super boost your goal that i'm not not going to achieve 100000 dollars a month i would be able to achieve 120000 dollars a month and that is possible when you do the enhancement factors now enhancement factors will include the strategies the processes you thought of within the action and the measurement plan okay i'm going to add instead of this action i'm going to do this which is going to increase my revenue further so always look for the factors where you can go beyond your goals yeah this is going to give you the boost because next time when you're doing the same exercise for the next goal i say it's a sort of a so i say this is a spring cycle because what you're trying to do is within that period of time you are creating those actions and you are enhancing those based on what's happening what's happening realistically what is possible those inputs are very important always look at it what can be done now to increase it further what can be done now to achieve that goal and just change it that's the very important thing people don't change it sometimes i know consistency is important but also it is important that if the actions are either not achievable or you think it's not going to reach to the goals then you have that it's the most important criteria if you would like to achieve the goals you have in your mind now this can be applied this game principle the game success plan i say it can be applied either in your personal life also in your business but my first point is start with just one goal and give it a try the four factors here there is one which is having this very specific goal think about just one goal what you can do and find out the actions you will take for that you know and it has to be the actions which is aligned to you aligned to your team or someone within your uh, network where you can utilize their um, expertise that's the important thing and then how you will measure it make it very simple the measurement should be very very simple any of your staff can see that calculate that yeah and then you enhance it and enhancement also requires you are involving your team yeah so involve your team within that exercise and see the results because they will be aligned with your business goal and they will be able to give you the pointers where you are heading it across now i have created the whole game success plan sheet for you so you can see what are the criteria are there and adopt that fill it out and see the results thank you for watching thank you